Well, hey there, Emily. We're just a couple hours away from this Trump rally. Uh, behind me, hundreds of supporters already filing into the Jet Center, just, uh, just adjacent here. Colorado Springs Airport. You may remember that in late July, UCCS was the venue for another Trump rally, and the campaign gave out thousands of tickets, and hundreds of uh, people were turned away because of the size of the venue. That prompted a fire marshal comment from Trump. It is the third. Today marks the third uh, presidential stop for Trump. He was in Houston earlier for a luncheon and in Norman, Oklahoma for a fundraiser. And there is some evidence that his stock is beginning to rise here in Battleground, Colorado. Just the latest poll out a couple days ago from Emerson College showing Trump taking the lead in one survey, 42-38 over Hillary Clinton. And he comes here just one day after conceding that President Barack Obama was in fact born in this country. And just yesterday in Florida, he said that Hillary wanted to take your guns away and suggested that the Secret Service traveling with Clinton should stop carrying guns and see what happens to her. That comment prompted a response from Colorado Democratic Party Chair Rick Palacio, who says, quote, no matter what political affiliation, it is unacceptable for a presidential candidate to suggest or insinuate gun violence in any way. Colorado, of course, a state where gun violence sits very close to home. The Planned Parenthood shooting last November, four years ago, last July, the Aurora theater shooting, and, of course, Columbine back in April of 1999. Tonight marks Trump's third visit to Battleground, Colorado. Colorado's precious nine electoral votes key to both sides. Both Trump and Clinton campaigns say they need to win Colorado if they want to win the White House. We will, of course, be here throughout the night. We will have a recap of the rally tonight at 10 o'clock. Live this evening at the Colorado Springs Airport at the Jet Center, where we wait for Donald Trump. Eric Fink, KRDR.